The Flash is a student form for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the ECU community. Stay tuned. Hey ESPU, welcome to today's episode of The Flash. I'm Keon. And I'm Ibrahim. And thank you for taking this time this, this Wednesday morning to turn it to, to, bro, to tune into another episode <laughs> of The Flash. We've got some great stories for you today, from a student self-made clothing brand, to a special someone's positive impact, and the rise of pickleball. You don't want to miss it. Stay, Stay tuned for The, the Flash. Flash. Hoodie, man. Where'd you get it from? Nah, man. This sweatshirt I got on is not for you to know. Come on, man. Stop all that. Where'd you get that hoodie? Okay, okay. If you insist, this is the inverted brand created by one of ECU's very own. Let's take a look into a self-made clothing brand that has become very popular among students. Here's Simon with the story. There are plenty of people here who can say they love clothes, but not many can say they own their own brand. Unlike senior here, Josie Alabacho. Yeah, my brand's name is Introverted. Um, created it back in June. I created my brand because I saw this guy named Quan and I just wanted to do something similar to him. He has his own clothing brand called Yell Yard. So uh, I just got inspired by that and the success he had with that brand. So I wanted to do the same thing. So basically after I get an order, all I have to do is print the labels, put it in a poly bag, put on the shipping label, send it out to USPS or whatever. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple process. It's definitely encouraging to see other people wear my brand because I put a lot of hard work into it and seeing that hard work pay off pushes me forward. But Josie isn't the only one repping his brand here at Eastview. We took some time to ask some students wearing the clothes about how they feel about them. I got the introverted brand on, um, my friend Josie. Uh, pretty cool brand, I like the sweater. Uh, it's pretty comfy, you know, I like the design on it. There's a design on the back too. Um, I just like the way it feels on me and I like the cropped uh, part of it as well. It's able to show the T under that you have on, so. And I really like it. The material is so nice and uh, yeah, I really like it. Signing off from The Flash with help from Moses and Lena, this is Simar. If you or anyone else are interested in buying any introverted merch, make sure to check out the website introverted.shop for more information on clothing. Man, do you know someone that just makes your day better just by being a positive person? I probably have to say you, man. Thanks, but uh, I would say the same about you, but I'd be lying. Well, Ava has an inside scoop of a person that makes a positive impact on people's lives every day. Take it away, Ava. One random day in July when I was reading here, someone asked me what the title was. His name is Chuck Brooks. Now, if I ever come here and I see him, we'll strike up a conversation. But who is Chuck Brooks, and how has he impacted other people? Chuck is one of the greatest, I think one of like my favorite people that come in here. Chuck is a regular here. He's always in with his laptop, ready to write his blog. As an English teacher for three decades, Chuck has always enjoyed writing. Even in retirement, he's still able to keep busy by writing his blog, three children's books, and a screenplay. I've always been attracted to the concept of writing. And any movie, any TV show that deals with writers, I'm drawn to it. And I can't even quite tell you why. Writing is a skill, and if you're going to stay, you know, fairly good at your skill, you've got to keep practicing it. Thus, the daily practice mentality, and so I thought, I'm going to create a blog. And that's what I did, and people wanted to read it. I've done some writing projects since retiring, and I don't think I would have had I not disciplined myself to be writing daily. Even with everything that he's doing, he's still able to keep in contact with those he's taught before. I, many are still in my life today, and that's 33 years. Let's say that on my birthday, I hear from a ton of not just old students, but parents of old students, um, which makes it, it enhances the job. And he makes everybody's day brighter. Go for what you want to go for and don't let anybody tell you differently. Almost a decade in retirement, Chuck is still able to make an impact in his community by just being himself. Ibrahim, why do you have a pickleball racket, man? Oh, this right here? I'm just practicing for the big tournament during homecoming week. I've got to sharpen my skills. 
You know, speaking of pickleball, I have noticed a large increase in the popularity of the sport, especially in recent months. I wonder what that's all about. Lily went around town to find out a little more about the rise of pickleball. Take it away, Lily. Imagine a game that combines all the best elements of tennis, badminton, and ping pong that anyone of any age can play. This sport is called pickleball. Over the past few years, there's been a major increase in popularity in pickleball, so we wanted to take a deep dive and to see what makes this sport so special. We went to the new indoor pickleball courts in Egan and interviewed Jack to get his insight on the rise of pickleball. It's exploding right now. Um, I think traditionally a lot of people think it's like the 65 plus community, but uh, actually most of the new growth in the sport is people who are in that like 20 to 30 year old range. So um, the average age of pickleball players is continuously trending downward. Um, and I think that's super cool as younger people get into the sport. Uh, it's a ton of fun. It's a really low barrier to entry. Um, like other sports comparably like tennis where it takes a while to like learn the skills of the sport. It's all over the news, you know, as far as pickleball. So I was like, oh, this seems like something I could play. And, you know, I'm a little older, a little gray hair here. So that's how I heard about it. And I always played a lot of sports when I was young. I played, you know, athletics in school and stuff. I played in college, played soccer in college. But I want to do something while in my, my retirement to play a lot of. And so I play a lot of pickleball. I think also um, even looking, everyone can play pickleball in some fashion. And so you are with people that are at all different levels. And and it's a way, like he said, Steve said, to meet other people and um, get to know others. Pickleball is a sport that anyone can play, and it opens up opportunities to meet new people. Signing off from The Flash, this is Lily with help from Angel and Jenny. Man, I would destroy you in a game of pickleball. We will see about that, my friend, because come the Eastview tournament, you're in a world of hurt. Anyways, that's all for today, Eastview. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for the, the credits. credits.